What's up? Today we're gonna do Chipotle at home, as in like the Mexican restaurant Chipotle. Restaurant. If you don't like Chipotle, I feel like you probably just haven't gotten the right things. Chipotle is so great and it's like seven bucks. It's awesome. So today I'm gonna do a chicken bowl, which is what I typically order. I'm gonna do uh, the white rice, chicken, uh, some corn salsa, some pico de gallo, uh, green salsa, the black beans, romaine, and Monterey Jack cheese. I'm not gonna make every single component uh, just cause sometimes I don't feel like it and like the corn, it's January, so it's probably not good corn if I got fresh corn anyways. But yeah, come along, enjoy. And I like to season everything on the chicken itself and then put it into the marinade. And then this, I'm gonna show you how to uh, roast up a poblano. It starts by just setting it straight on the, the flame. And you want it to get all the way black, all the way around. It might look like it's burning, but it's not. Also, if you have one of these, uh, you can speed up the process. All right, that's pretty good. So you can see it's kind of uh, black all the way around. So now we're gonna take it, put it inside. And you can see it's already steaming. I'm gonna let it steam for like, three minutes or so, and then all of that outside burnt is gonna just wipe right off with a paper towel, and then we'll have delicious, soft, fire-roasted poblano. Um, like I said, basically making pico de gallo, except we've got corn and poblanos instead of tomatoes. Gonna wipe off all of the burnt chard outside. You could use store-bought. Uh, if you want it to be like Chipotle, you're gonna have to shred it yourself. For the sour cream, all you do is take your sour cream, add a little bit of water in there to thin it out, and you've got their sour cream. You got the Chipotle sour cream. All right, so you get romaine. You definitely want to wash this because it's romaine and it seems like every other week somebody's getting E. coli. You want this so, so hot, your pan. And if you, you really need something like cast iron that can withstand uh, the heat and hold the heat as well as cast iron does. So I've been heating this up for probably eight minutes or so. It's, it's like almost smoking hot. Um, and I'm gonna put it in just dry because I seem to get the best char that way. And you're gonna put it in, push it down, and then don't touch it for a couple minutes and really uh, let it char up. I think we uh, still got a pretty good color on here. See, so that caramelization right there, that's what you want. Color is flavor when it comes to cooking, especially searing meat. And you always wanna let your meat rest for like five to eight minutes at least to let the juices redistribute it. All right, for the rice, I'm just gonna do a half of a lime. Just some cilantro leaves. There you go. 
Chipotle rice, baby. All right. We've got the whole meal. We got rice over here. Uh, so I just did a can of black beans, just warmed up some black beans. This is just Trader Joe's hatch salsa. Um, you can make tomatillo salsa. Maybe I'll do that sometime uh, for you guys, but didn't want to mess with that today. And this is pico de gallo, and I use brown tomatoes. That's why it's this color. Uh, I shot a video of this as well, which I'll share uh, sometime soon. But everything else I, I made, and let's make our bowl. There you go, Chipotle at home. All right, you guys, that's it. I hope you enjoy it. Send me pictures, shoot me messages if you make it, at Austin B. Lion. Follow me, like and subscribe my video, because I'm gonna be doing these about every week, I hope. That's the plan for 2021. Uh, yeah, hopefully this is a, a good one to kick it off. Who doesn't like Chipotle? Besides a lot of people who don't like it, but maybe this will change their mind.